Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting coming out of Hammond, Louisiana. I'm going to try to demonstrate how to set up and um, configure one of these striping machines to, uh, you know, stripe your first line. I am doing some voiceover after the video has been taken just because the audio was so poor. So hopefully um, y'all will be able to hear me. So right here we have our uh, five gallons of paint already loaded into the machine uh, with the pickup line inserted into the bucket. Now we're going to attempt to uh, purge the lower unit. Um, my purge line had a, um, a clog in it so I ended up removing it so I'm just using a little Gatorade bottle to purge into. I turned the purge valve to the on position and then I turned the pump on. That'll keep any pressure from building up um, and once you turn that purge valve on you can actually get a, a large burst of paint or a mineral spirits. Once I'm getting um, my purge um, coming through I'll turn the pump off first. We will do this a couple times to get that lower unit purged out and um, once we get a pure white paint coming out we'll go ahead and um, stop the purging procedure. Also it's a very good idea to have a couple of empty buckets to use for trash. Um, you know it's purging and cleaning out paint lines to get started. And also you can use those uh, trash buckets to um, flush out the machine once everything is done for the, for the day. Triggers pull, then turn the pump on. Pump off. It looks a little, just a little time to paint this on. Okay, that, that should be good enough. It's going to all mix up in a second. All 
All right, I'll take this back. <clears throat> so now we're gonna mount the gun. This is a real critical part. Gonna get this out of the way where we're not gonna stumble on it. Notice how my gun is facing facing upwards. I mean, my gun assembly. Make sure we got enough hose so we're not binding, but not too much that it's gonna get caught up under the wheel. Back our wing nut up a little bit. Now this is not pressurized. Where's my tip at? Oh, I got one. Tip's out of the gun. Nothing's pressurized. You don't want to do this while it's got pressure on it. Because this thing, as you tighten it down, could spray and it would spray out there or you or me or everybody else watching on YouTube. This is the tricky part. Let's see. Where this trigger guard is. This, now this is the mechanism that pulls the trigger. It needs to be at the furthest point. If it's up here, can you see? You see my hand in that video? Yep. yep. All right. You see, uh, if this this little trigger mechanism is up here, you can get what they call a false trigger pull. So we tighten this down. You don't have to be extremely tight. Now I'm going to work the trigger and see how, how smoothly it works. So remember, there's no pressure on it. It feels like it's getting a good release. Then I aim it down. Now what I'm going to do now is um, turn the pump on just to see if we're going to get a false, false trigger pull. Pressure builds up in the gun, so it's ready to go. So now we insert our tip. Now this is under pressure now, so you want to be real careful. Kind of rotate this thing around so on this side. Your lives. I'm going to give it a little bitty quick squirt to see if it's going to come on. So it's good. Now on this drop cloth, I'm going to hit the trigger just for a second. Watch your face. Hold up, hold up. It's coming out the sides. Okay. That means we got a, a bad seat. Try to get it seated in there. That happens. So sometimes that pain will get built up in it. By the way, we're using a Titan 2800 line striper here. It's a very good, uh, versatile machine. It's a medium weight machine. But it is uh, definitely high performance. Alright, once you get everything lined up, you want to uh, make sure your uh, spray bar is all nice and even and straight. And then you uh, can check your line width by just pulling the trigger, a quick tap. And if it looks good, you can go ahead and start your first line. Well, guys, I hope this video has helped. Um, there are, you know, several procedures to get these machines set up and calibrated to start striping. Um, and look, like always, if y'all have any questions or need any advice or any technical advice or anything like that, perhaps I can help. My name is Billy Davidson, Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, coming out of Hammond, Louisiana.
and my number is 985-345-0778. Thanks for watching and hope to hear from y'all soon.